This is going to be your 100% shiny steel Pokemon locations in the Teal Mask DLC. If you're looking for any specific Pokemon in the Teal Mask, go ahead and check out the timestamps down below in the description, as well as checking out a playlist we have over here for any other typings you may need, as well as our older playlist in Paldea. If you miss any of the shinies, it almost has a million views. So a lot of people have watched that playlist. So check that out if you need shiny Pokemon. All right, for the steel sandwich, what you're going to be needing is going to be one hamburger, and then you're going to be grabbing a salty and a sweet herba mystica again feel free to comment down below any alternate recipes that you think are going to be good for the sandwich and also feel free to use level two sandwiches with encounter power because they do just as good as a job as the salty herbas honestly i've seen people get it all the time in the comments and people tweeting at me so if you don't have herba mysticas don't worry about it too much if you did it right you should have a sparkling power steel level three and an encounter power steel level three as well sometimes you might need to use zoom in if the pokemon a little far away so in order to do that go ahead to your home go to system settings and from system settings go all the way down to system then go down turn on zoom and when you enter your game you should be able to go ahead and just hit the double home zoom in with x and y to see the pokemon the distance you might not need it too much in the steel video but just wanted you to have that just in case now let's get hunting oh, now orthrum has been seen in the base game in paldea and what you're going to want to do is head over to the paradise barrens this this is going to be a solo hunting spot for Orthworm. It's literally everywhere in this entire area, which is going to be pretty fun to make the hunt a fun thing to do because all you have to do is look out for a blue shiny. That's it. So explore the area, find a good spot where a lot of them happen to spawn in your visual sights. You can do picnic resets when you have a good amount in a certain area, or you can just keep running around despawning and respawning them out until they show up. Just be careful of the ones with the heads that are showing out of the ground. Make sure to identify if that's a shiny or not because you know it's just they're not as visible because they're not all the way out but yeah this seems like a really good spot exactly where i am there's a bunch of orthworms that have spawned around me so in scenarios like this this is when you probably want to make yourself a nice picnic just like this get out your picnic and then hang around for a second and we should get new spawns happening around us there we go there's about one two we got three four uh five six look at that seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so yeah you, you do get a decent amount of spawns let me show you my exact spot i'm right over here here dead center but i'm sure a lot of you will figure out much better spawns probably like on hills some people figure out like oh if you peek out on this hill you'll spot some down below you so there's just so many ways of going about it let me know exactly the strategy you've come up with for hunting orthworm i'm very curious because everyone just has better spots like oh i went into this little tiny corner here and i got more earthworm so yeah i want to know or you walked into this cave and you got some earthworm i don't know i'm just curious let me know the next location that we're going to be going to is going to be for bronzor and bronzong and this is going to be located in the crystal pool area now if you just want bronze or the first evolution well then you can just circle around this entire crystal lake area very slowly as they spawn in until you happen to bump into a green one remember these spawns are taking their time you know so you want to just make sure that you wait a little bit for them to come in and not rush past them as you saw up there make sure to zoom in sometimes the light reflection could be a bit off so you want to make sure you do that i accidentally bumped into one over here uh, before the secret cave event entrance but so this is where i found mine if you want shiny love just like this make sure to hit that subscribe button now if you want to get a nice afk spot for hunting these i suggest we head over to the secret cave over here and what you want to do once you arrive at the secret cave entrance below crystal lake is head all the way down literally just go down until you head towards the water area once you arrive at the water area you're going to come up and you're going to see this entire bronzor is just hanging around here chilling having a great time and you want to make your way down to the end of this tunnel right here uh but don't fall down and what you want to do is hop off your mount and if you turn around you'll see that a bunch of bronzor and uh, a bronzong has actually spawned in so what you want to do is kind of send out your pokemon here just to go and auto battle them and you can kind of just hang back while they all spawn in and your pokemon will get to work on it and pretty much you just sit here until a green one happens to spawn in because they will just constantly keep spawning in over and over again uh, just make sure to keep track of your pokemon it might just run back to you if it gets tired or worked out i don't know it's weird or the spawns act a little funky so yeah you could just eat a sandwich or something while it goes to work taking on all these pokemon here there we go there's a, there's a bronzong that spawned in oh it's really fighting them all the way out there yep and then it got too far and came back so there you go good luck hunting your bronzor and bronzongs down in the crystal pool area if you want to hunt yourselves a lucario which is a steel type you can head over to the kitakami wilds which is going to be north of the fellhorn gorge and as you can see you do get lucarios but you also get a lot of poniard spawning here there's tons of them 
And for Lucario, you'll be looking for a yellow shiny. And if, in case you bump into a Ponyard out here, it's going to be a blue shiny. Now, the cool thing about Lucario is if you have a fighting sandwich and you go check out our fighting video, you'll notice that you have a bunch of Lucario that spawn here during the day, which is going to be a solo hunting spot for just pure Lucario. But again, this is also in Paudea, so it's not as exciting. But I just have to put the spot out here for those who want to hunt in Kitakami. So besides shiny hunting Ponyard in the Kitakami wilds, along with the Lucario, there's also better spots where we can solo this Pokemon out. For example, let's head over right to the spot below us, which is going to be located all the way here in the Timeless Woods. So if you open up our map, you should be right over here sitting in the Timeless Woods. Now, the cool part about the Timeless Woods is that this place is just filled with Ponyards. And sometimes you'll get families of Bisharp and Ponyards as well spawning here. So it's pretty cool for both of the Pokemon. The only thing you're going to have to be looking out for when you're here is the color blue, which is going to make your life a lot easier when hunting. I also want to point out if we are going for the King Gambit line that you can actually date skip for a mass outbreak or just time skip or just hit the OK button. That can apparently get you a mass outbreak of the final evolution, which is pretty cool. I don't think you could do that in the base game. Anyway, so pretty much the strategy here is just to roam around the forest not too fast until you find the blue one of your choice. Here's a blue one I found in another video. So it's cool to see it work with the dark sandwich, but with the steel sandwich, you're pretty much solo here with these Pokemon. Now, if you want a cool Bisharp spot within the Timeless Woods itself, head over to this cave right over here at the bottom left, I would say, of the woods. So enter this cave. This is the one where Snorlax sleeps. And look at that. It's a whole cave just filled with these Bisharp. So you can go ahead and just farm them over here. So you could take this one out, take that one out. Let me clear off this wall here. And the strategy basically is to come in the cave and place yourself all the way on the right side, facing that wall with the rock over there. And I think if you angle yourself at the right angle, just like this, back left corner, there we go. You should get a bunch to spawn in here. So you can pretty much align yourself in the back and oh, look at that, a King Gambit. Wait, a King Gambit showed up. Okay, I guess King Gambits also show up in here with the Bisharp. So pretty much Ponyards, Bisharps, they all spawn in here and you can just angle yourself in a corner of this cave and you should get ones that spawn out. So it's also an auto battle spot if you properly get spawned. So let me know exactly the position you put yourself in this cave in order to get these spawns to happen. That might be the sweet spot right there. I got two spawns in that corner. All right, good luck with your hunt. Now that you got all your steel Pokemon, you should check out this video right over here.